Pisces, you are up for the February Love Energy Reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC, all the social media platforms. Okay. So, this is the love reading. The general reading for February is already up. Technically, we're still in January right now. So, if you haven't checked out any of the January readings, feel free to do so. The general readings are up, the love readings are up, and the money readings are up for January. Speaking of money readings, after I finish the love readings for February, I will start working on the money readings for February. Whatever reading you watch or listen to, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person here reading energy and the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Now that I've said all of that, let's go ahead and dive into the reading. May I have the energy for Pisces? May I have the energy for Pisces? May I have the energy for Pisces? What is it that Pisces needs to hear for February? What is it that Pisces needs to hear for February? What is it that Pisces needs to hear for February? May I have some cards, please? Thank you. Mm, okay. That's a statement. <laughs> ah, that Maya song <laughs> is playing in my head. I don't know if you remember that Maya song, but yeah. Let's see what we got here. Mm. Wow. You were dealing with the karmic. What's at the bottom of the deck? Commitment. Someone had commitment issues. That's what... that That is what... Someone had commitment issues. First card that came out is... You moved on. You moved on. And then... After that... Stand your ground. Stand your ground. And then, never again. <laughs> this is like, this is like, uh-uh. We're not, we're not going on. We're not dealing with these shenanigans anymore. The shenanigans are done. <laughs> never again. And then after that, closure. <laughs> Man. Now, like I said, karmic came out, but this card here, it says. Pride keeps us apart. Pride keeps us apart. Now, when I'm looking at this energy, I still feel someone had commitment issues. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. But I I feel someone had commitment issues and you were just like, nope, I can't do this. I also feel, too, that you might have had commitment issues because of their inconsistency. I feel that could have been going on, too. Let me take from my, in, um, you know, warning. This deck is a very explicit deck. It's the Monero deck. So if I start showing cards and you're like, oh, my God, what's that on there? I'm warning you now. So, yeah. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Pisces? Can we clarify the cards on the table for Pisces? Can we clarify the cards on the table for Pisces? What is it that Pisces needs to hear? What is it that Pisces needs to hear? Huh. That's interesting. Something. Okay. I feel like I'm going to tell you. Something just happened with these cards. 
it, you, it wasn't, I don't think you saw it on the camera, but I saw it. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if someone comes into your life and turns it upside down. I don't feel in a bad way. Hmm. Can we have some cards, please? We need to clarify the cards on the table. Interesting. Five of Cups and the Three of Wands reversed. This is one of these things. Um, five is water energy. Five of Cups is water energy. Three of Wands is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, with this, this is telling me somebody, now, the person who you were with, they might be coming back asking for sex. Just telling you right now. I feel like you've cut your losses, and I don't know why with this particular card where she's in the water with him, but what I'm thinking about is what came to my mind with the energy when I looked at this card? Would you trust this person with your life? That's the energy that I picked up. Would you trust this person? Because I'm thinking of someone who may be drowning. And it's like, would you, would you trust such and such to save you? That's kind of how I feel with this. Going back to the inconsistency. Because whoever you were dealing with that inconsistency... That made you feel like, okay, no, 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 no. When things really get rough, again, would you trust this person with your life? You're like, uh-uh, I can't count on them. That's why I feel you might have had commitment issues too. I'm pretty sure they had commitment issues, but I also feel by their actions, you had commitment issues as well. Now, with the three of wands, three of wands is usually ships coming in. Also, fire energy with the wands is about passion too, as well. I feel this person may come back in seeking some type of passion with you, but you cut your losses. Now, also, one other thing I just heard is that for some of you, you don't even feel like being physical with anyone right now. So even if someone new comes in, you may not even entertain it where they may have a physical interest as long as well as an emotional interest, too. But you may not even want to entertain it. You're just like, Shh, I don't want to deal with it right now. I, I just got through dealing with all of this. So, yeah, what else is going on? Thank you. Yeah, two of wands with the king of pentacles. So, this is long-term planning. Two of wands is about travel, too. Now, strangely enough, with the king of pentacles, I did hear something with someone being flown out. But, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But also with the King of Pentacles, one thing you want is someone who's stable. That is what you're looking for. Also, something said to me as well, you want someone where it's only you. It's only you. You don't want someone who is looking for this girl or that girl or this man or that man or this girl and that man or, or whatever people look for these days. It, everything seems to change every year. But you know what I'm saying. You want someone who is, only has eyes for you. They don't have eyes for others. And also you want someone who is not easily swayed by temptation. Two. You want someone long term. That you don't have to think, oh, well, what are they doing when they're not around? Which, King of Pentacles, is that grounded stability. And not just stability emotionally, but st um, stability financially. You don't want someone you'll have to take care of. Thank you. What is this? Yeah, someone who's willing to put the work in. You're willing to put the work in. This is Eight of Pentacles. You're willing to put the work in. It's like, if you're willing to do it, why can't they do it? What else? Whoa. Okay. Those went everywhere. We're going to take the two right here and then we're going to go to the floor. Ah. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Like I said, you don't want someone who just wants sex. With the devil and the ace of wands. Ace of wands is sex. 
And also with temptation. You don't want someone who can easily be tempted. And that might have been the issue with the person that you were with before. Now on the floor, on, on the left hand side, is the moon. I feel somebody kept secrets. Also Pisces, moon is your energy too. I feel someone kept secrets. I feel this is past energy because it fell on my left. Left is the past, right is usually the future. I, I feel like somebody was keeping secrets in the past. That also could have played a role with the shenanigans in the previous relationship. Let me, what fell on my right, if I can find it. Mm. The lovers reversed. Gemini energy. Some of you could have been dealing with the Gemini. I feel like this is that person trying to come back in the future. But you're just like, no. I, I, the thing that just went through my head, not ever, ever again. That's what just went through my head. Not ever, ever again. I feel like that is your attitude with, with this individual. What's at the box? Because I didn't even check that. Ace of Pentacles. Again, you want stability. Now, they might be offering you stability coming in, but I feel like you're not into it. You're like, no, they're coming in to try and tempt you to come back, try and seduce you. Thank you. What are these? Okay, we have the eight of water, which is cups, walking away. We have the death card. That's the end. That, so that's a double confirmation right there. You don't want it. We have the five of earth, five of pentacles, leaving, being left out in the cold, leaving them out in the cold. And then after that, we have the seven of earth, dealing with investment, putting in the energy, putting in the money, putting in the time. And you real, the reason that you're doing all of this is because you're realizing that nothing can grow from it. That's why you're not dealing with it. Bottom of the deck, Four of Wands, you want stability. That's what you want. You want stability, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You want something stable. You don't want the shenanigans. And like I said, not ever, ever again is what I heard. And that is your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Till next time, be blessed.